Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and this is Birch and Lily, my podcast and floss tube and whatever you want to call it, my channel all about crafting. Today is a cross stitch episode. I have four different projects that I've been working on that I'd like to show you guys, as well as a couple new possible starts, maybe? We shall see. Um, but before I get started, there are two places that you can find me on the internet. The first is on Instagram at birch.and.lily, and the second is on Ravelry. If you are into knitting, my username is Birch and Lily. Okay, so the first project that I have to show you guys is Mary Mary Needleworker. This is a pattern by Lindy Stitches. I am stitching this up on 40 count bramble and I'm using all of the called for threads. So I guess I'll show off the threads for once they're not terribly tangled. I have this project in a bag by made by Mama Joan. Floral, my favorite. So I've been working on this quite a bit the past couple days um, and I've got a decent amount done. Go. So this pattern, if you haven't seen it before, comes with two color options actually. The day garden and the night garden. So the night garden is a little bit darker of colors, um, but I've chosen the day garden. So since last time, I think I've done quite a bit on the dress here. Finished off that pair of scissors, tipped a little strawberry, and I've started working down a little bit more on the border. I'm almost thinking, and who knows where my mind will be in the next couple weeks, but I'm almost thinking I kind of just want to monogamously work on this and finish it. I'm getting close to halfway. I guess not really because I have this whole dress to fill in, which is going to take a long time. Um, but I don't know. I just love it so much. And it's so summery and fun and yeah, I really love it and I'm really looking forward to having it hanging up in my craft room. I don't know if I would put it on the wall behind me or where I would put it, but I definitely want it hanging up in this room. So, loving this, really want to work on it more. The next project that I was working on last week, quite a bit, um, you guys haven't seen in quite some time, this is Strawberry Fields Forever by Blackbird Designs. Again, I'm using all of the called for threads. And I guess I'll show you quickly. I don't want to flip it because you'll see the pattern, but this is another made by Mama Joan bag. More floral. Every single one of my project bags today is floral except for one. So that says something. Anyways, um, this was interesting <laughs> to say the least. Uh, this is where I am right now. But I had got the house completed and I'd started working on this border and I'd done, there's a fence beside the house. And then I realized that the house was not fully complete. There are rows on each side of the house, just one single row of a different color of red running down it. And I forgot to put those in, which meant that I had counted everything off of the house and the house was the wrong size. So I ripped everything out. <laughs> I couldn't leave it. I didn't want to have to sit and fudge the whole complete pattern. So I ripped all of it out and started again. <laughs> and this is where I am now. This is 25 count Confederate gray that I'm stitching on. Um, so I probably would have had more progress if I didn't have to rip all that out, but I'm much happier now that I did. This is another one of those projects that I should almost just focus on for quite a while and get done because it's not that big. It really isn't. Like when you look at this size of fabric, it's it's pretty small. So maybe I should almost work on this one too and see if I can get it finished. If I can have that much dedication because I get distracted very easily. <laughs> Strawberry Fields Forever was actually one of my starts last year for Mania, so 2019. So it's been sitting for a while and I really should get it done. Um, again, I forgot my ring. 
now that we are basically just staying at home all the time, I don't put my ring on often because I don't want to bang it around the house when I'm cleaning or working out in the garden and then I forget to put it on for videos, but. The next thing that I've been working on is Birds of a Feather. This is a pattern by Brenda Gervais or With Our Needle and Thread. Again, another pretty floral bag. This one is from Pretty Southern. This pattern, unfortunately, is out of print. Um, you may be able to find it somewhere on eBay or Stash on Load or anything like that. That's where I did find mine. Um, but, call for threads again. Very pretty colors. And I am stitching this up on 40 count vintage gray, which is the fabric from R&R. &R. And this is where I am. So the pattern comes, what am I doing? <laughs> we'll just do this. The pattern comes in three separate pieces. Um, the first piece of it being the border. So I am just working on the border right now and I want to get that all finished and then I will meet, meet, meet. And then I will move on to the next portion of the pattern. So last time, I think I mostly just had the top of the border done. So I've moved down the right side now and I'm just continuing on with that. Let's zoom you in. The flowers are so pretty. I've really been enjoying it and it goes surprisingly fast. Like again, I really only worked on this project for a couple days in the past two weeks and I got that whole right side finished like that bottom flower there is the corner of it I just have to do the flower itself but the rest of it's done so really fast flying along I'm really enjoying this project as well and the final thing that I have been working on in the past couple weeks is a shepherd song which is a pattern by Plum Street Samplers I have it in this sheep pattern bag from Pretty Southern as always, called four threads. And I am stitching this on, I believe, 40 count winter brew. I forgot to bring my show notes upstairs with me, but I will make sure it's linked down in the description if that is incorrect. So this is where I am. I'm at the point now where you basically can't see my face. <laughs> um, so I have completely finished the black border all the way around. I do have some flowers to do still on this um, leafy border, but that's okay. I'm kind of just doing those slowly. Um, I finished the roof on the house and I've started working on the house itself. This roof, oh my word, it was a challenge. <laughs> it's a whole bunch of sections, like little squares of color. So four stitches each, very confetti-ish. Hopefully you can see that and there's four different colors in that roof. Um, I was trying not to travel my threads too much at the beginning and then after a while I just didn't care anymore and it really doesn't look that bad actually when you look at it but it's a mess <laughs> but I really don't care because it was a challenge so yeah I feel like I've progressed quite a bit on this. I also did a lot on the grass just because there is a lot of solid stitching on this project. A lot of solid stitching. But it's so beautiful. I have to figure out where I'm going to put this in my home. It's completely my style, obviously. That's why I'm stitching it. <laughs> but I've got to find the perfect spot for it in our house. very happy with that. This is definitely still probably getting the most attention out of all the cross stitch projects I have. Um, so I've been trying to move my attention elsewhere because I think my mom, who is also stitching this project, feels like I'm going too fast and like I'm going to be done way before her. <laughs> so I'm trying to work on some other things so that she can catch up. But really, really enjoying this. It's a beautiful pattern. So that is all that I have been working on the past two weeks, but I did want to show you guys a couple possible starts. And yeah, let's jump into that. So one thing that is on my radar is Oh Joyous Day by Blackbird Designs. So pretty. And 
I kind of think I want to change things up a little bit on this. I'm not sure. Um, so I'll have to get you guys' this opinion. But I got, sorry for the crinkles, this fabric. And it's not showing up perfectly on the screen. Actually, let me take it out of the bag. This fabric. So it's kind of purpley bluey. That's pretty accurate, actually. So I was thinking of maybe stitching it on this. Um, I have all the call for DMC. Let me hold it up to it. Like, I think it looks kind of pretty. I'm not sure. I gotta stare at it a little bit longer before I decide. But um, that's possible, or I may just order something neutral. Um, the other option for this fabric, I don't know if you've seen the Whip It Good pattern by Heartstring Samplery. I'll put a picture up here if I can find one. Um, but it is just a one color pattern. So I think if I found something really pretty that went well with this fabric, that that would look really beautiful as well. Or I also have, oh, what's it called? I can't find it, but I think it's called And A Forest Grew by Rosewood Manor. I'm not sure if that fabric is big enough for it. It's a 40 count. Um, so I'd have to do the math and see if it's big enough, but that might look really pretty on it as well. So we'll see. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> and then something else that I really want to start, I've had this kitted up since Christmas, I think, is a Savior's Praise. Um, so I'm not sure. I really should finish something before I start something else. But I really want to start a Savior's Praise. It's so pretty. Why do I like big projects so much? Hmm. I also really like, what is the new Blackbird Designs one? Something garden. Come into my garden, something like that. That's really pretty too. I've really been on a Blackbird Designs kick lately. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I want to start something new, but I also, in my head, know I shouldn't because I have so many projects on the go. What I should really do is go through everything that I'm, I have started right now and kind of decide, it's all in that bin back there, but kind of decide if there's some stuff that I'm like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. And maybe I haven't done that much on it yet because it was a mania start and I could like pick out some of the stitches. Actually, I did that with, I showed last ep last cross stitch episode, um, the Berry Bowl Sampler by Heartstring Samplery and a Scarlet House. And that is actually on fabric that I picked an old project out of that I just wasn't feeling anymore. So yeah, I'm kind of indecisive, but I haven't, I haven't started anything new super recently, but I should finish something first. Maybe I will finish Mary Mary Needleworker, and once that is done, I can start something new. And that will give me time to think about the fabric for Oh Joyous Day. Like I said, let me know what you think. I don't know, it's different. And then at the same time, I'm not sure, like, cause that's something I think I would wanna hang up in the house. And then I'm not sure if I would want to, if it was on that purple fabric, where Whip It Good, I would hang up in my craft room. And I think I would like it more on that purple fabric in my craft room. Yeah, hard to say. But anyways, that is, all I have to show you guys this episode. Um, thank you for joining me again. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, please be sure to do so. It helps me out a lot and it gets me out there to other people on YouTube so that they can see what I am working on. As well, if you want to get notifications when I upload a new video, uh, make sure you ring the bell. I upload a new video every Tuesday at 10 o'clock. I alternate between videos on knitting and videos on cross stitch. And if there are any questions that you would like to ask me, please be sure to leave those down below. I would love to answer any questions that you have. And yeah, again, thank you so much for coming and joining me. And 
if you like knitting, I will see you again next Tuesday. And if not, I will see you again in two weeks for another cross-stitch episode. Bye!